A peaceful and tranquil atmosphere permeates this ancient land. The Daintree River winds its way through the oldest tropical landscape on Earth, 180 million years actually, and Murray Hunt, the Daintree boatman, has not been running tours for that long, but I asked him what it was like riding the river daily. Yeah, well, I've been doing it 10 years and I suppose to last that long you just got to love the river. The beauty of my little cruises is dawn and dusk when the, uh, the light of the river is at its best, when it, the river is at its scenically most beautiful and probably when the animals, the, particularly the birds, are at their most active. So, um, you know, two hours dawn, two hours sunset, split shift every day pretty difficult. I'm not particularly happy with that early alarm clock each day but I get to fall in love with the river every day. That sunlight, the mirror image, the reflections on the river, particularly in the early morning or maybe the sunsets with all those catalega actually accumulating at, at, a, at, a, at a roost at the late afternoon. These are the things that, uh, that make it all worthwhile. So personally, for me to see it, but then also to see the enjoyment when I get to show those things to passengers. These are, you know, these are the real gems. Of All right, day. Murray, three words to describe the Dane tree. Wow, okay. Um, serene, in the early morning. Just simply stunningly beautiful. Uh, and wildlife, so just wonderful to see crocodiles, snakes, birds, particularly kingfishers. You know, at the right time of the day, you get to see them foraging. So, absolutely, absolutely stunningly beautiful. Okay, now I understand you've been involved in wildlife all your life, pretty well. Is yes. that correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what drew you initially to, to that love? Yeah, this is a funny thing. I'm a bit of a black sheep in the family. But I grew up on five acres northwest Sydney, and apparently, as a young boy, I would just disappear into the bush for the day. And I would bring home a little surprise each day, and my parents would be really nervous. You know, would it be would it be a spider? Would it be a snake? Usually, a snail shell or something like that. But it's always been innate this love of the bush or the environment. And then that naturally just progressed into uh, a fairly all-encompassing uh, interest in bird watching. Some people will call it an illness, <laughs> but also living in Kakadu and many other parts of Australia, you know, you get a love for crocs and you get a love for the snakes and just the environment in general. Okay, and if you had one creature you really love on the Dane tree, what would it be? Yeah. All right, this is going to be a strange one, but there is a very large grey heron. Hopefully we see him at some stage. Very large, and he's got a big bill, and he is famous for actually grabbing baby crocodile. Really? So particularly around April when those little crocodiles are emerging to the river, the great billed heron is a bit of a personal favourite. It's a shy, secretive resident. And, uh, and it's an absolute joy just to be able to show people and see their faces when they see that large heron, the great build heron. I had the privilege of riding a dawn and dusk cruise and Murray's joy and passion for the beauty of the river was contagious. It was fun, interesting, captivating and that coupled with the feeling that resonates, feelings generated by the sights and the sounds leaving like a, a soothing sacredness of the senses. It is an awe-inspiring nature river ride of pure wonder. But I get to fall in love with the river every day. <laughs>